All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, I added a third sticker here so you can be sure to know what channel it is. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Login TV. And let's get started. This is my review of the Giant Mouse Ace Nibbler. Let's see. This is the uh, blue aluminum version of the Nibbler. Now, most of you are already uh, saying, what in the world, the guy that likes big knives is uh, reviewing this itty bitty little knife. Not only that, I bought it. I'm crazy. Uh, so I got this from Blade HQ. And guys, when you go on there, there are four versions of this on their website uh, th that are this aluminum and N690 configuration. There's red, there's blue, there's green, there's purple. And those are all right now at $95. Now I paid 75 for this because it was on like a sale. Um, which was cool, uh, but there's also a all titanium version with 20 CV um, that is normally that is 185 and is in stock. And then there's a um, uh, hello uh, green micarta version that's in 20 CV but is out of stock, and that one is normally 155. So we're going to focus on this blue aluminum one. Uh, again, $95 right now at Blade HQ. You might be able to find it somewhere else, but I'm talking about them because that's where I uh, picked this one up. So it is itty, itty, itty bitty. As a matter of fact, let's just start there, kind of out of order for a KC review here. We're going to do one comparison right off the bat just for fun. I am carrying this today, the Beyond EDC Night Horse, uh, which doesn't even fit down inside my tray. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, look at that size comparison, guys. How's that? Anyway, enough fooling around. Let's get to the review. So this is, as I said, the Giant Mouse Ace Nibbler in N690 and blue aluminum. Do I already have a scratch right there? What is wrong with you? Yep, there it is. Um, so this is a very cool uh, blade. I would call it kind of a sheep's footy kind of thing going on. Uh, you have a hole. As you already saw, I can... Uh, well, I can middle finger flick it. Um, can I, I haven't even, I don't even know that I've ever tried to thumb flick it. Let's see. Yep, I can. Um, and then guys, for such a tiny little knife, um, this guy should not be overlooked as a cutter because they made it so thin. Um, yeah, pulls out of a cut if it's a long cut, uh, but they made it so thin and slicey, which is kind of a giant mouse thing to do. Very thin, comes down high, high flat grind, comes on down. Let me clean that blade now that I did that. Of course, I'm always making a mess. That's what I do best. Left some on there. Okay, I think I got it. Um, so yeah, just a cool looking again. There, I did leave some, but whatever. Uh, it's an N690 blade. Uh, you do have plenty of relief there with your sharpening choil for your edge. Uh, you have the hole here that's a Vox uh, kind of style hole. Uh, you don't have jimping on this one, but you have a nice area to sort of cradle your thumb here. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute in ergonomics. Uh, you do have a left side pocket clip, a right side pocket clip. It is a deep ur carry, uh, you know, kind of wire clip there. You have that much sticking out. Your backspacer, I think is tight. Yeah, it's titanium. Uh, your screws are nice and countersunk, except uh, your pocket clip screws stick out a little bit, but there's plenty of room for this to come in and out of the pocket, uh, especially your little fifth pocket, which is where this should be. Some jimping or serrating or whatever, I mean, not serrating, scalloping there on the lock bar. Um, not a great amount of access to that lock bar, as you can see. Um, you kind of got to dig in a little bit, but again, not terrible. Um, got to get past the detent, and it's a shaker, not a dropper. It is dead centered. Um, and the detent is fantastic on this one. Yeah, really good. And that's how you can get in here and really get a hold of it and flick that sucker. Now, ergonomics. This is a two finger knife. Let us not mince words. Uh, it's, you can kind of fit that third one up here to the lanyard, uh, hole that's cut in there, by the way, lanyard hole. Um, two fingers, nowhere to choke up. So this to me is just a bit too small for me to even use regularly as a uh, secondary. However, 
just to keep around the house as a nice little, you know, pick it up and cut open a box or whatever. This is fantastic. Now, some of you might not mind if you're going to use it just as a secondary, just having this tiny little grip here. Now, by the way, that little slot for your thumb right there is absolutely great. I'm not kidding. That is just feels wonderful uh, like that. It feels great. But again, we're at two and a half fingers here, which just doesn't lead me to a lot of confidence with certain cuts. But if I'm cutting open a box or cutting out something or, or whatever, then this is fine. Um, and you know what? It's a fifth pocket knife anyway. So it's just going to be your backup, your secondary, your one to hand somebody, whatever. So you know what? I'm fine with it. Nice flat pivot, tooling on both sides. These are made uh, at, by Giant Mouse. Uh, by Giant Mouse. These are made for Giant Mouse in Italy. Uh, let us see to make sure of that, just to make sure, but I'm 90% sure. Uh, actually, it says these are made in China. I thought these were Italian, but I guess I'm wrong. So these are made in China. Not sure who the manufacturer is. Designed by uh, Vox and Anso. And uh, again, tip up, right and left hand, two ounces, blue aluminum. And of course you have, uh, oh, it says um, uh, liner is steel. So your, your liner on your liner lock there is a steel liner lock, of course. Uh, it's only on the one side with the, the lock. It's, uh, they call it a Warncliffe, but okay. Uh, see, there's all these blurred lines here, but okay, it's a Warncliffe, fine. A Bowler M690, the blade uh, thickness is just 0.11, cutting edge is 1.875, the overall is 4.7 inches, and the um, blade length is, uh, blade length, no, that is not correct. Yeah, 1.875, so same as the cutting edge. Uh, really, really cool, little tiny, itty bitty knife. Now let's do our comparisons here, guys. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, today, of course, uh, you always have to do our friend, the Ontario Rat 1. There is the Rat 1, uh, which is humongous compared to this thing. Uh, second of all is uh, our friend, the Ontario Rat 2. And just because it's coming out in January in a pre-order, we're going to put uh, a much larger but small knife uh, the uh, Tempest Microburst down there. Let me tilt down just a little bit because I'm going to give you one more. And, of course, I didn't bother to get this one out, but we're going to get it out real quick um, because I think it's it's absolutely a great comparison. Uh, this is, let's do this. This is uh, the Spyderco uh, Dragonfly 2. Now, why do I bring that one out, guys? Because that, if you want to talk about tiny little fifth pocket knives, and what I prefer in a tiny little uh, fifth pocket knife, that is the industry standard. And why? Because even back here, it's three fingers already for me. And now it's four. Um, so it, this is a four finger knife. So that's why I like it better. So in my mind, uh, this is a good knife. It's just, it's a little bit smaller here, a little bit smaller here, and no choil. And so that just makes it, uh, you know, a little more difficult for me. Uh, to get a hold of, uh, if you will. So there is your Dragonfly 2. You guys know how much I love the Dragonfly 2, and that one's in crew wear. And uh, if you just want a tiny little knife to cut the crap out of a uh, box or what, man, I cannot get that to stay up there. There we go. Something like that. Then that is your knife right uh, there. But uh, back to the Nibbler. Very, very cool knife. Uh, I do like it a lot. I'm glad I bought it. Don't know if I'll hang on to it or sell it yet. Uh, so if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> yep, I said it. Uh, so guys, thank you so much. Let me know what you think of this one. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Appreciate each and every one of you and for watching the Knives Fast channel.